What's up guys, welcome back to Fisher Hex. My name is Travis. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Frag Swap in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. It's this weekend, October 13th, and it's um, hosted by the Reef Conservation Society. I've gone to the swap many times in the past, so if you've been following the channel, I go to it every year. It's really awesome. Any hobbyist or vendor can come in, set up your table, sell your coral, make a few bucks. It's, it's really cool, um, and I definitely enjoy it. Now, either way, uh, vendors show up at 8 a.m., pick your table, again, set everything up. The doors are open to the public at 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. and there's a raffle at 3 p.m. Now, uh, it's gonna be $10 per person, $20 per family, and it's free for anybody under 18. So come out, check out all the coral. There's a lot of people there and some really good stuff. Now, um, I will talk about this refugium here in a second that I have on camera, so hopefully I remember to do that. And that's CC acting like a fool. At least she's not meowing on camera. Either way, um, so my setup is just like Reef of Palooza. We're gonna be using one of these all-in-one uh, frag tanks here. I got some more egg crate in the corner that I'll have all the frags on. Heater, power head, all that kind of stuff is good. Same setup again as Reef of Palooza. And I will be using one of my AP700s off the bottom tank here, which I'll be bringing with me to put on this little, uh, little hanging rack here. I definitely have to repaint it before this weekend because it's just kind of scuffed up from Reef of Palooza but that's okay, it just takes a little bit of that enamel black paint and it's good to go. Now you guys have been asking what coral I'm going to bring and you guys, I've been getting a lot of emails saying, hey man, there's tons of stuff out of stock. Yes, that's kind of, I, I just, it's just a process that I'm going through, but I did get a whole bunch of Ophelia. I got some more Zoas, stuff that you guys are requesting via email. I went ahead and got that stuff. It will be added to the website before this video goes live. So for those of you who can't make it to the frag swap, you'll at least get a, an option to purchase that coral that I, I will be bringing all right so and on that note if you want to purchase coral and you're going to the frag swap just select local pickup and then in the notes section be like hey bring this to the frag swap my name is you know whatever just put it in the notes section i will make sure every cup is uh, notated and that everything is working out and it's good to go and i'm out of zoom come on there we go anyways um yeah so looking forward to the frag swaps definitely a good thing and um, I will be leaving a little early on uh, Saturday because it's muzzleloader doe season here in Pennsylvania. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to get out in the woods a little bit in the afternoon since Saturday is the first day. We can't hunt on Sundays. So yeah, there's a cold front coming in on Friday and I just want to get out in the woods. So I will be leaving at the time the raffle starts. I'll be packing up and be heading out couple hours early so I do apologize but uh, I have three tags this year and that will allow me to at least feed my family for the next year before the next uh, hunting season so I definitely got to get out there and get some stuff done and if uh, videos are a little late next week it's because I'm in the woods and same thing in December for rifle season but uh, yeah if you guys want to know more about that let me know I will be happy to talk about it but a lot of you guys get offended about killing deer and all sorts of shit like that so I don't want to hear it in the comment section so I'll just stop talking about it but either way uh, looking forward to the frag swap. Now, uh, this refugium here. Now, you guys have noticed that the algae scrubber is gone. I will be doing a review on the algae scrubber next week, and I will also be giving that unit away because I have a new unit coming that we're going to be setting up on the 30-gallon. We're going to be tearing down. Uh, we're basically moving that system around, taking the, uh, the skimmer off, taking out all the maintenance out of it, and let it completely run off the algae scrubber. And I'm uh, definitely looking forward to that. And, uh, yeah, so you guys might be asking, why did I take that scrubber off? and put the refugium on here. Well, as you can see, there are inverts in there and there's plenty of inverts that you can't see in the back. But basically what happened is I was uh, sick of fishing my inverts out from underneath this frag rack. I know it's blue, but every time I needed to do an inverse sale or I had to fulfill an order, I had to go searching underneath the racks, knocking coral down. It was just a huge pain. So I isolate all my inverts in a separate tank. It's easy to pull out and so much better for um, getting those orders out. Also, macroalgae, my 30 gallon refugium could not keep, I mean my 300 gallon refugium just could not keep up with the uh, macroalgae sales. So this allows me to have 40 gallons of water that I can grow macroalgae in to again keep up with the sales. Also adding more water volume to the system is always good for stability. So there are three major reasons why I needed this and uh, you guys will see the whole build. It was a pain, I will tell you right now. It, it took me a long time because I had to basically convert it over to this without moving the water barrel, without moving the system, and also while you know keeping it shut down for a minimal amount of time to actually do the transition. So yeah, you guys will see that build here hopefully in the next couple weeks. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with it so far. And again, you guys will see that build soon. But other than that guys, everything is doing well. 300 gallon, 
is really pissed off at me right now because I did not test my alkalinity for a couple weeks and I must have got a growth spurt but the alkalinity plummeted and uh, they're not happy but everybody's still alive. That seems to be the problem for those of us who get really busy and can't get water stuff done and you just get caught up with other things so I'm gonna do better and keep an eye on it and hopefully everything will work out but other than that guys I'm done talking hopefully I'll see you guys at the frag swap again buy five frags get one free is on the website all this month in spirit of the 20,000 uh, subscriber contest all right guys I'll see you later peace